Hi, I'm Matteo and I'm Lorenzo and this is exercise 2. In this exercise we will cover the basic commands of Bash and we will use the terminal to insert comments. And I remind you that there are good tutorials for using the terminal that is in the link below. Now we are going to create a directory. Using the command mkdir we can create a directory with a name that we like. Now for navigating in some directories we can type cd space directory name. Note that uh, unless otherwise stated anything appearing with the angle braces should be substituted by a corresponding identifier. So if I created a directory os underscore ex the command to navigate inside it should be cd space os underscore ex. Remember that you have to be careful about inserting blanks to separate commands from other names. Now we can change path to a parent directory using the command cd space dot dot. The name dot dot is a reserved identifier for the parent directory of the current directory. We can check the current directory using the commands pwd. The current directory is also displayed in the terminal just before the position of the blinking cursor, usually between the signs colon and dollar sign. All directories have a parent except one. This directory without parent is called the root directory and is identified with slash. Generally, the root directory is not used by regular users because they have their own space called the home directory that is located in slash home slash username. An alias for the current user home directory is the sign tilde that can be used to replace the string slash home slash username. We can show a message with the echo command and uh, for example we can print our name. Now it's a good time for me to go and drink a coffee. So I'll leave word to my colleague Lorenzo. So now we are going to create a file named name.txt with the text editor Pico. The file must contain three or four lines of text of your choice. Pico is an editor useful for creating text files in the terminal. I remind you that you may use other editors like Vic or Emacs, but Pico is easier to use. And in Pico, editing commands are entered using control key combinations. So the editor has a few basic features, including string search and cut and paste. A string search begins at the current cursor position and wraps around the end of the text. Blocks of text can be moved copied or deleted with a command for mark, control, camera, delete, control, k, and undelete, control, u. The delete command will remove text between the mark and the current cursor position and place it in the right cut buffer. The undelete command performs a paste at the current cursor position. So now look at the terminal. We are going to try to copy and paste your lines a few times, then try the search function with various strings. Then save the file. Of course, there is a save control command as well. Open with Pico a file named name.txt, uppercase. It is an empty file, as you can see. That is, it is different from the file name.txt lowercase that you just created. In other words, Linux file names are case sensitive. Now write a few lines inside name.txt and save it. Now create a file with Pico that contains the sentence Big Brother is watching and call it Big Brother. Use the cat command to display one of the text files you created inside the terminal. Cat stands for concatenation. It displays one file or more files. It does not allow you to modify a file that is being displayed. Perhaps the most useful command is man. It displays a manual page for a command so that you may check if it will do what you need and which options it supports. Try, for example, typing the terminal man cd or man cat. Even man man works. Now that you know the basic commands, you can go on with the course. Happy, Happy coding! coding.